look at this rectangle PQRS. It has a base SR and height QR. Do you think it would be possible to cut the rectangle somewhere and make it into a parallelogram? I'm going to show you something very clever. Have a look at this. Here's a cutout of our rectangle. Now I'm going to draw a line from this vertex to the base of this rectangle. Take your pen and ruler and mark off a line. From the vertex to the base on the other side. Now take your pair of scissors and cut along this line. Now let's move this triangle to this side over here. I have made a new shape. Do you recognize the new shape I've made? Did you see that I have made a parallelogram? Let's have a look at this again using a graphic. So if I make a triangular cut from the point Q to the base SR, and I'll call this point B, we have a triangle that we can move across to side PS. Pretty clever, hey? But will this work with any rectangle? Will this part of the rectangle, QR, always fit on this part of the rectangle, PS? Yes, it will. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel, so we can mark that PS is equal to QR. Now PS and QR also represents the height of the rectangle. Let's label our new diagram. We'll call it P, Q, B and B prime. Let's look at our rectangle PQRS and parallelogram PQB, B prime together. Will they have the same area? Yes, of course they will. We know that we have used the same pieces that made up the rectangle to make up the parallelogram. So the areas must be the same. Great. So what is the formula for the area of a parallelogram? Let's see. The formula for the area of a rectangle is area is equal to the base times the height. The area of the parallelogram should be the same. Let's check. Can you see that the base has not changed? All we did was to move this piece of it, RB, to the other side. The height of the rectangle also hasn't changed. So the area of the parallelogram is area is equal to base times the height, where the height is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides PQ and B, B prime. 